My name is Andrew Tremlett. As Dean of the Cathedral, it's my great privilege and delight to welcome you here at the start of the academic year. What an extraordinary year it's been. Even the Cathedral had to close during lockdown for the first time since 1649. So we're absolutely delighted and thrilled to see the city filling up again and students arriving at the start of the academic year. This magnificent cathedral has stood here for nearly a thousand years. It's the home to two of the great saints of England, Cuthbert of Lindisfarne, Holy Island, and Bede, the father of English history. And of course, we also celebrate our great saints, St Hilda of Whitby and Margaret of Scotland. There's been an em enormously long tradition of learning and study here. The first monks, when they arrived, brought with them their 7th century library. And over its time, Durham Hall in Oxford was founded by the monastery here, two schools, and then in the 19th century, the University of Durham. So it's always had a strong place in our hearts. This cathedral is open every day. Whether you're religious or not, we'd be delighted to see you. So at the start of this academic year, we welcome you here and we hope that during your time here in Durham, this will become your cathedral and part of your time here. Thank you very much, Andrew. Hello everyone, my name is Sheldon Twins and I am the president of Durham Students' Union. Before I say anything else, I wanna say a massive congratulations to you all. I encourage you all to take pride in this day as our very special community officially becomes yours as well. Some reasons why people come to university range from social mobility to enterprise and expertise, from seeking independence to expanding professional networks, or even just to tick off being a student in our life's to-do list. The choices and circumstances that have guided us to Durham University, as varying and disparate as they may be, fundamentally demonstrate one thing, that you are the architect of your life and Durham University is your engineering tool. You are entering a formal contract with the university to promise to become your best self. And in return, the Durham community promises to facilitate whatever that may mean for you. 2020 is without a shadow of a doubt going to be marked in history as a year of chaos, flux and existentialism. For some, 2020 has been a horror film. For others, it has been a critical social thriller. And for the rest, 2020 is merely a sensationalized documentary. But 2020, nonetheless, has been surreal. This year has been, still is, and is going to be a weird year. COVID-19 has propelled the world into a new line of questioning. What is my moral responsibility to my neighbor? And how do we all navigate our new normal? The terms social justice, privilege and equality have sure enough defined the zeitgeist. We ask ourselves, how do we align our immoral world with our internal moral compass? What is righteous anger and why does my generation seem to have so much of it? We scrutinize our education system with questions like, when will our curriculum necessitate decolonization? And is it now time to reframe knowledge producing systems instead of passively consuming them? I could continue to interrogate 2020 for another hour or so but I must highlight that these questions are not meant to be rhetorical. These questions demand answers. 2020 should inspire all of you to confront these questions with discussion that is frankly long overdue. Today marks the start of that inquiry. You must inquire within this community, but also on behalf of it. I implore you to treat this community as a venue in which vibrant dialogue may occur. Here, I found intellectual sparring partners, big thinkers, and people whose ultimate goal was to answer these questions. That being said, I also found more diligent sparring partners and even bigger thinkers who, in the face of these grand questions, asked even more questions when finding answers proved to be impossible. So the cliche of not letting your degree get in the way of your education does in fact ring true. So it's time to test the validity of your opinions. To deconstruct yourself is the great task of university and your world needs you to do that now more than ever. I welcome you to welcome that task. We at Durham Students' Union essentially exist to support you on that journey. Our Freshers' Fair is online this year, as are many academic and non-academic activities until the foreseeable future. Nonetheless, the Students' Union is forever committed to securing students with the most flexible, accessible and engaging education, whilst keeping your safety and well-being central. With the daunting task that university is set for you and set for all of us, 
uh, the task of being bold and being brave, I say a massive congratulations again. Enjoy your induction week. Take advantage of your time here. Utilize your students' union and, of course, the very best of luck from your SU president, Sean Twins. Your Durham University chapter starts now. Ask questions, find answers, but ask more questions. Hello, everybody. My name's Stuart Corbridge. I'm privileged to be the Vice Chancellor and Warden of Durham University. And it's my very great honour to say welcome to the university, welcome as the matriculating class of 2020. Matriculation is one of the great events in the calendar at Durham University, and we do hold it in the cathedral. I'm clearly filming today in the cathedral, uh, but I'm filming with a crew that, of course, are wearing face masks. And it is going to be a very different matriculation ceremony to ordinarily. And I'm very sorry about that. You're not going to get the great experience that we ordinarily have at matriculation. But the key point is that you're here, that you're members of this wonderful university, and that you're going to have a wonderful time with us. Whether you're here just for a year, whether you're here for three or four years, or whether you take rather longer, as I did, to get my PhD many decades ago. We're a values-driven university, and our five values are that we're challenging, we're enabling, we're innovative, we're responsible, which includes being respectful, and we're inspiring. And those values are going to be more important than ever this year in guiding us as individuals, each of you, and as a community. It's challenging doing matriculation in this way. We usually close the matriculation ceremony with a large group of colleagues wearing these wonderful coloured gowns marching down the nave to extend the hand of friendship to our matriculating student body. We're doing it now by reaching out and saying again a warm welcome to you. But we want to challenge ourselves throughout the year. We're going to be challenged. It is going to be a challenging year, clearly. But challenge yourselves academically. This is a wonderful time to think deeply, to acquire knowledge, to be critical in the questions that you ask. Picking up some of the issues that Shern Twins, the president of Durham Student Union, is talking to you about in this matriculation ceremony. Challenge yourself also in your extracurricular pursuits, what we call here the wider student experience. Challenge yourself perhaps to do something new. Challenge yourself to do something for the community. But know also that you're going to be enabled. One of the great things, there are many great things about being a collegiate university, but one of the great things about the college is that initial warm sense of community that will stay with you for your time at Durham. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Reach out to your friends, to your networks as they form. Reach out to members of staff in the colleges, in our professional services, in your academic departments too. We're here to help. And I think more than ever this year, we need to be really friendly with one another, to cut one another a bit more slack perhaps than ordinarily we would do. Innovation. Um, we're innovating right now by filming in the cathedral rather than having the ordinary matriculation ceremony. But Durham is a wonderfully innovative university, all the way from student startup firms like Plastec through to uh, NetPark, which is the, the university's centre for research and innovation, about 12 miles to the southeast of here in Sedgefield. But in your daily lives too, you'll find innovation, of course, this year in the classroom as you get a mixture of face-to-face -face teaching and online teaching. And there'll be innovation in the wider student experience, some parts of which also will be online and not just on the sports pitches or in the concert halls or in the dance studios. So innovate, enjoy that moment of innovation. Responsibility. And what am I most proud about as the Vice Chancellor of Durham University? I mean, so many things. It's just a, it's a wonderful institution. But the fact that if you normalize for the size of the university, our students and our staff volunteer more for the local community, I believe, than any other university in the UK. That makes me really proud. And we're going to have to volunteer this year, perhaps in slightly different ways again. Be respectful of one another in your dealings with fellow students and staff members and with the local community. 
work through some of the issues that Shern is talking to you about. We must always treat one another with respect. We need to be sensitive to differences. We need always to consider what our responsibilities are to the wider communities within which we sit. And challenge, if you see misbehaviour, if you see examples of sexism or misogyny or racism or classism, challenge. Be an active bystander. Get involved. We are a respectful, responsible university and we all have to live that value more than ever this year. And if we do, we will be more than ever again an inspiring university, an inspirational university. Durham is a very, very special university. I've worked in a number of universities and I've been privileged to do so. But none inspires me in the way that Durham does. And the inspiration, it is you guys at the end of the day. Uh, we have 200,000 contactable alumni around the world now. And in due course, you'll be an alumni member of the university. And that is the great gift of Durham to the world. Yes, of course, we've got our wonderful, life-improving, life-changing research. But at the end of the day, it is the alumni population, it's students becoming alums that become the ambassadors for the university. And your ambassadorship for the university starts now, which goes back to being responsible and respectful. So be inspired, inspire us all, and have a wonderful time at Durham University. Congratulations again on being part of the matriculating class of 2020. Durham's colleges are so much more than halls of residence. They are friendly, supportive, human-scale communities within the wider university. In Durham, your college will make you feel at home. Students and staff will help you find your feet and provide opportunities for you to get involved in a range of activities and experiences. Your college is a ready-made family of people from different countries and backgrounds. You will enjoy the company of students, who are studying every subject taught at the university and make friendships that will last a lifetime. You will also meet academics and local people who are part of the wider college community. Your college will play a key part in looking after your well-being. It will help you find your strengths and develop skills and interests. Colleges will help you explore sport, theatre, music, volunteering and a whole host of other activities and interests, and enjoy the outstanding social life that makes Durham so very special. Your university has 17 colleges, and as you will already be discovering, each of them has its own distinct identity. The oldest date back to the university's foundation in 1832 and before. They are located in the city centre. These are the Bailey Colleges and Hillbead College. Just south of Central Durham are the Hill Colleges and Eusnoff College. They sit in a beautiful open campus and range in age from 70 years to brand new. I'd like to welcome you to Durham University and to your college. It will be a year like no other, but we hope you have a wonderful time here.